Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll show you how to add a document page into your app. The document page allows your app users to use your Google Drive and OneDrive documents from within the app. These include docs, PDF, XLX, PPT, and text files. Let's see how it's done. If you see the document page is already added to your app, click on it. If it's not already there, click on View All, then search for a document and click on the page to add it to your app. The existing app users can add the document page into their app in exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at everything you can do with the newly added document page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it to fit your needs. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outlined icon as your icon image or you can set an image from our library or add your own image for your icon image. You can even upload two different images for mobile app and your website. Let's move on to the content section now. You will see two features, Google Drive and OneDrive. Click on the Google Drive feature to connect it to your app. Here's your Google Drive name. If you want, you can change it to fit your needs. From here, you can change its icon. If you want, you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now you need to provide the client ID and secret key. You can follow our tutorial on how can I get my Google account client ID and secret key to easily find these. Once done, click on connect to link your Google Drive with the app. From here, you can delete the Google Drive feature. Next comes OneDrive. Click on the feature to add it. Here is your OneDrive name. If you want, you can change it to fit your needs. From here, you can change its icon. If you want, you can select an image from our library or upload your own custom to set as your icon. Now you need to provide the OneDrive email ID, client ID, and secret key. You can follow our tutorial on how can I get my Microsoft account client ID and secret key to easily find these. Once done, click on connect to link your OneDrive with the app. From here you can delete the OneDrive feature. Click on this icon to go back to My Features. And from here, you can hide this page. If you want to enable login on this page, click on this lock icon. From here, you can copy the page URL. Click here to manage the on-page SEO of your document page. Next comes page style and color scheme. From here you can change the app's page elements like color, font style, and font size from this section. Once done, click on save and continue. Thanks for watching, that's all for now.